Welcome Wolf and Wolfettes to Bloodborne and today we are going to be starting the Old Hunters Expansion Pack. Now um, I've already played through the Old Hunters Expansion Pack and as far as I know there are four main bosses for you to fight as well as another boss that is like an optional boss that you can get through finding some items. So we're going to do all four of the main bosses first and once we've killed them we're going to do the optional boss right at the end. Now, I've got to be honest with you, Orph, Morphets. Um, I've played through this, like I just said, and this expansion is pretty damn easy. Not only are the bosses all simple, besides the last one, they also are very generous with their lamps. So, uh, yeah, this should go pretty smoothly, this should. Okay, right, I suppose I should tell you guys how you access the old hunters. What you need to do, um, if you're playing the game for the first time, I think you have to get up to the boss, Vicar Amelia, then you need to kill Vicar Amelia, and once you've done that, you need to click on the skull to trigger that cutscene. Now, once you've done that, if you come back here to Hunter's Dream, as you can see, mine is still on fire from the last playthrough, <laughs> you should find an item here, which should be like a bell, I think. Oh, no. Oh, no. Eye of a Blood Drunk Hunter. Yeah, that's what you need. Now, once you've got that, I think we need to go to the Cathedral Ward. Yeah, right, so before we do this, one thing I have noticed, if you guys pre-ordered the original Bloodborne, um, you got like a little uh, free gift with it where you can put top hats on your messengers. Now, mine didn't work at all for some reason. It never worked, but since the old Hunters has come out, my uh, item has actually been here. So there we go. If any of you guys had a problem with the top hat pre-order thing working, it should be uh, working now. Okay, let's quickly change it. Uh, one messenger top hat. There we go, that's better. Okay, so, now that we've got these two items, that little bell that you just found, what that bell is for, it is for summoning NPCs in the old hunters to help you fight. It's not for anything else, just for that. But what you want to do now, you've picked them items up, you want to come to here. And I think... Yeah, that, yeah, you've got to go to the Cathedral Ward. Oh dear, I think the uh, loading screens have actually been really, really reduced. If you remember, back when you first played this the first time, the loading screens were fucking insane, they were like a minute long, but I think they've, they've sped them up quite a bit now. Guess we'll find out now, won't we? <laughs> oh, don't, come on, don't make me look like a liar, come on. Come on. Okay, I guess I am a liar. They didn't speed up the loading screens. <laughs> ah, There we go. Right, now, if you guys remember, when you get to this area here, when you, um, when we came around here, when I was doing my main playthrough of this game back in March, wasn't it? Uh, there is like a purple, like a purple sort of mist that appears over there, and it automatically kills you. Well, that is in fact part of the old hunters. And if you look now, on the side of this building, is one of these freaky bastards. <laughs> so um, to get to the old hunters, once you've got those two items you just picked up, all you got to do is come over here and stand near this dead body, and you should be picked up by that monster, and it should take you to the new area. There we go. He actually fucking kills you, to be honest. I didn't even notice that. Okay, that was creepy. <laughs> Very creepy. Ludwig's Holy Blade. Oh yeah, um, I don't, I think, I don't know why this is called the Old Hunters. I mean, I think it's because some of the bosses in this, uh, in this expansion, you actually find their weapons in the main game. Like, Ludwig's Holy Blade, that is a weapon you get in the main game. And in this expansion, the first boss we're going to be fighting when we make it there is actually Ludwig. 
<laughs> so uh, I think that's sort of what this is about, the old hunters. Right, uh, we definitely are not going to make it to the first boss though, because there, this uh, first area we have to go through does take a while, and there's a few shortcuts we're going to have to open up. But it'll probably be tomorrow that we, uh, not tomorrow, what I'm going to be doing at the moment is I'm going to be alternating between Uncharted 2 and Bloodborne. So uh, you'll be getting this every other day, probably. But uh, yeah, should be the second video that we fight Ludwig, if I uh, move my ass. Right, let's uh, remember the buttons. I've got a lot. I've got my uh, little lamp. Yep, better put that on. As always, British Wolf is taking off of it, taking his lamp off like a little git. And then we've got a notebook. We don't really need the sinister resonant bell. Messenger's gif, gift. Oh, that's the thing that turns you into a messenger, ain't it? And we got fire paper. We got twenty-four blood vials, twenty bullets. Yeah. Yep, that's the thingy. Circle to dodge, ain't it? Yep. Okay, good. Right now, I will tell you one thing about this expansion. In the main game, most of the enemies in this are in the main game. Most enemies are like monsters. In this expansion, it seems most of these fucking enemies are actually humans. And if you, as you guys know, in Bloodborne, the human enemies are more worse than the monsters. They know some Jackie Chan shit. Right, I'm not sure which way we should go first. I know there's. Oh, look, some uh, golems over there. Oh, I see a hunter dude. Now, to be honest with you guys, I actually got through the entirety of this expansion when I was playing on my own, and I only died three times. Yeah, it was yeah it was three times. Once on the optional boss, once on the final boss, and another time because uh, I accidentally uh, mistook a hole for a shadow. <laughs> oh dear. Okay, come on. I haven't played this for a day, so go easy on me. I've got to get my fingers ready again for your bullshit fucking special look. Oh! Okay, that didn't go fucking well, did it? Lady to him! What are you doing? Don't die already! What's the matter with you, B-Wolf? <laughs> fucking hell, what's wrong with you? Alright, alright, sorry about that. That was, uh, that was purely my fault. You know, I was getting a little bit cocky, showing off. Alright, that, that's the first gate we're going to unlock there, because that will give us a shortcut. But I think we're going to have to take the long way around. Another thing they're also generous in uh, the old hunters is they give you a shit ton of blood vials, they do. I mean, you get a lot. I mean, there you go. <laughs> you get a lot of blood vials. And practically every flipping uh, enemy seems to give you blood vials. Frenzied cold blood. And also, I think, in this expansion, you know you got that weapon, the Beast Claws, and it could make you like look a little bit like a werewolf. In this expansion, they've actually got a ruin and some other stuff that actually turns you basically into a werewolf. I was tempted to do that, but to get the beast, to get that ruin, you need to kill the optional boss. Which means I will have to, uh, I'll have to skip a load of it for you guys to see it. I suppose I better use a vial just in case. So a little bit awkward recording this because as you guys have <laughs> fuck, as you guys have guessed, I've been doing a lot of fucking Uncharted lately, so it feels weird recording anything but Uncharted at the moment. What was that? What was that? Something... Oh. Oh yeah, the uh, hunter dudes in this area do attack the other monsters, so that's pretty useful. At least it's not everybody versus you. Yeah, uh, I'm going to come back up here after. We're going to go down here and we're going to unlock this shortcut, because it's pretty useful. It saves you having to kill those dudes we just killed again. Oh. Old hunter trousers. Delicious. Let's drop on them. Fucking crows. <laughs> Did not miss these crows. Oh, one of my notes was rated fine. Fucking hell, I haven't actually left any notes on the floor at all. The last note I laid was back when you guys watched me do PvP. That was the last time I played this game. That I left any notes. Fucking hell, they lasted a while, didn't I? Now, can I sneak up on him? As a hunter, I take it we can't. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's how you do it. <laughs> that's how you do it. Son of a bitch. Oh, there we go. Another shit ton of blood vials. Oh, what's this? Old hunter cap. 
But uh, what we're going to be doing first is we need to head first to the, the place where Vicar Amelia is in the main game. We need to go into that church and we need to get an item so we can continue on. But it's actually, uh, as you know, in the Souls games and Bloodborne and that, it's normally a fucking maze. But this is, I actually like this expansion purely because I know exactly where to go. In Bloodborne and Dark Souls, I always get lost. That's one thing I do not like about the game. I don't mind difficulty. I love a difficult game, but I'm not a fan of getting lost. <laughs> I don't want to spend an hour looking for a boss, and then when I finally find it, I've got to die on him just to get lost again for another hour. That's not fun. Uh-oh. Has he got a spear or is that a gun? Fuck it, oh, it's Slash, ain't it? From Guns N' Roses. What are you doing here, Slash? Let's go and get him. That's what you get, my friend. That is what you get. Free blood vials. Um, if you go... There is a, with this expansion, they've added a lot of new weapons, and I've been down there in that graveyard. There's a lot of items down there, but I don't think there's any weapons. But I swear there's a door that I haven't unlocked, and there could be stuff behind it. So there are some things in this expansion that I possibly won't show you guys. I'm purely doing this for the bosses, as always, and just the main game. Right, stand here. Come on, throw it. There we go. Go on, kill him. Hurry up. Oh, you stupid fucking boulder. You literally missed... You've got one. Fucking one. <laughs> oh, dear. What is this? Old Hunter God. Cool, we're finding, like, the complete set. All we need now is the gloves. Oh, yeah. Oh, there's the sinister bell. Now, watch this door very carefully. Watch the kind of abomination that's going to come out of there. <laughs> oh, he's getting his ass kicked a bit, actually. Fucking hell. It's pretty much like a really, really, really fat monk with Davy Jones tentacles. And they hit like a fucking tank, I'll tell you. I don't think I've ever mentioned this yet. Uh, I'm wearing my uh, Christmas suit. <laughs> I, just, I just mentioned it. I forgot I was wearing it. I've only just noticed myself in the camera. As it's December, I'll be wearing this now, probably all the way until January. Right, that's the uh, area we are going to be going to next. But don't go down there yet, because you need to come into the church to get an item. If you go down there, and you uh, skip getting the item, you won't be able to continue anyway. So don't waste your time. Oh, you want to Oh, I didn't know he could run. Oh, look how low his health is. Fucking hell, normally he kills them in one. <laughs> but they've done some damage to you. Ouch. Wait, fuck off. Well, I got most of my health back at least. Now this dude pretty much always drops six vials. Well, there you go. So if you're getting low on vials, just come and start killing him. Just kill him a few times, uh, and there you go. You'll be lock and loaded. Just keeping an eye out. <laughs> I'm a little bit uh, nervous playing this lately, because um, there is a couple of... You know the Witch of Hemic? There is a couple of enemies that look like her. They keep randomly sneaking up on me, and I'm not having fun with it. I do not like being sneaked up on Wolf and Wolfettes. I shit myself very much. I'll just know when PlayStation VR comes out that I'm going to have to play a horror game with that thing and you guys are going to demand it of me and I'm probably going to die in real life whilst playing it. When I first came in here, I was panicking like a son of a bitch because I thought he was going to attack me. But that dude there is in fact an optional boss. So well, we're safe for now. I'll uh, show you guys how you activate this dude once we've done the main bosses. So, probably, I reckon this uh, playthrough will go on for about 9 videos, depending on how much I die. I mean, it took me 3 hours to complete it on my own. So, and that's with me getting lost and taking my time. So, if I, uh, should probably be about 7 maybe. But what that is, pretty much the cleric beast, plus lava and fire. <laughs> so it's not fun. It is not fun. Oh dear, oh dearie me, gonna have to start thinking of a few Christmas videos to upload soon on Christmas Day. Uh, I've got one idea that I'm gonna show you guys, I'm not gonna say what it is because it's a surprise, but uh, yeah, got a few ideas, but if any of you guys know any kind of Christmassy videos you want me to do, 
just let me know in the comments and I will do them if possible. Right, yeah, this is where we need to go. And we should unlock a pretty decent shortcut soon. Oh no, I'm thinking, oh no, I'm thinking well far ahead. Never mind, <laughs> we're going to have to get through quite a lot first before we get a shortcut. Oh yeah, shit. Yeah, you, you do. Oh. This is probably the worst bit of the game, really, of the expansion. Yeah, watch your ass down here. There is a few uh, machine gun turrets. Okay, do not, do not get hit, please. Careful, careful. Jump, 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 jump. jump. Am I safe? Possibly. Now, watch your uh, ass, Wolf of Wolfettes, because when you run over here for cover, if you step on that button there, that son of a bitch gun there will start shooting at you. I made the mistake when I was playing on my own. <laughs> I was tempted to play this blind, actually, just for you guys, but then I thought, yeah, that's a terrible idea. It's just going to be a uh, episode filled with stupidity. Oh! Oh! I just fucking... I just... Oh. <laughs> I fucking stepped on a button I warned you guys about. What's wrong with you, Beowulf? Better take a potion, actually. But in case you're wondering, my character's level is 112. So uh, if you guys are having problems, and uh, yeah, at the moment I'm level 112. And I don't remember leveling up at all through the whole of this expansion. So uh, yeah, level 112 seems pretty uh, decent if you want to get through this. It's not New Game Plus or anything, it's just the uh, base game. So that will make it a bit easier. Look at the size of your hat. How the hell can you even see? Oh. Now that weapon. Oh, I'll tell you. It's pretty much a fiery version of Thor's hammer. See? <laughs> I should have probably repaired before I came into it. I don't know how, how much durability my weapons have got. Oh. Some of these dudes have got like timed molotovs so uh, I don't know I don't know if it's these guys or not but they chuck them at you and then they wait a little while and explode <laughs> oh yep these guys are the ones they're pretty creepy looking aren't they oh actually I can show you guys where there's a hidden weapon Actually, there's a couple of hidden weapons. If you guys want to get the Gatling gun, because I'm not sure if we're going to make it in this episode, I'll do it next episode. But if you go down there, see that little like doorway there, that little arch? If you go in there, that's where you get the Gatling gun. You have to fight a dude who is holding the Gatling gun. So uh, if you want it and you don't know where it is, that is where it is over there. There is also a trophy for gathering all the weapons. So just in case you're wondering, that's where you go. It's not much good for me because I'm not specting the old uh, Molotov. Not Molotov, um, what is it, blood tinge, ain't it, for good bullets? I'm not specting much in that. I don't think I'm specting it at all. <laughs> Oi! Fucking hell, that's what I get for talking, ain't it? No, you don't, my friend, no, you don't. If I remember correctly... Yeah, this is, uh, the room where that dude in a wheelchair pretends to be dead and then shoots you. Oh, he's still there, actually. Look. <laughs> oh, yeah, actually, he plays a trick on you. Watch what happens when you get close to him. Be careful. See? <laughs> Fucking hell. Oh, dear. That would have been bad. There we go. A boom hammer. I think that's the weapon that we just uh, saw on that dude. They were like fiery four hammer. But it does feel good to be playing this again though. Well, that's, I do love a bit of Bloodborne and Dark Souls. They actually got Dark Souls 3 coming out next year. I keep forgetting about that. Maybe I'll have to upload that to YouTube. Right. Now if you come round here, up those stairs, it pretty much leads to the beginning of the game. There's a dude up there and I think he has a unique weapon or... I think he has a unique weapon or maybe... A ruin? He has something decent.
Oh, there you go. See, you see how, how uh, werewolfy they look. Oh, careful. Yeah, get cornered, mate. Shit. I need to remember I've got stamina. <laughs> Careful, careful, careful. Come here, you son of a bitch. Come here. Fucking come here, mate. Oh. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> so what have you got? Oh. A firing hammer badge. Oh. I guess that unlocks new things to buy at the vendor. That's what the badges are for, ain't it? For new items at the vendor. Oh, okay, well, it's useful killing him then. I'm going to have to actually end it now, Wolf and Wolf. It's, uh, not really much has been done in this video. It's mostly been explaining stuff. But uh, next episode, hopefully, if I'm quick enough, we should make it to the next boss. But there's a chance I won't. It depends on dying, pretty much. <laughs> Thanks for watching, Wolf and Wolfettes. Like, share, and join the pack today. Oh